Hi, in today's video, we will talk about how to create a simple donut chart in ggplot. We'll be using two packages, dplyr and ggplot2. If you don't have them installed, you can go and install them using install.packages command and giving the name of your package. Let's create a simple data set, which only contains two fields. One is the country, A, B, C, D, E, and the population in millions. So this is how the data set looks like. So let's create three additional fields in, in our data set. So we'll create a percentage column, which is created by using the population million and dividing by the sum of the overall population. So this is what we get as a percentage. And then we create another column, which is a cumulative sum of the percentage column and is achieved by using the thumb sum or the cumulative sum command. And then we create another column called y min. Now y min is slightly different. It is basically shifting the whole value one below. For example, the first value is zero. And so this goes in the second, this goes in the third, this goes in the fourth, and this goes in the fifth. So that, that's all we have um, in the data transformation. Here is our first chart. Using the ggplot2, giving the data set which we created after the transformation, which was called df2, and then using the geom rectangle or geom rect geometry, we are passing the y min and the y max values which we created, and x min equals 3, x max equals 4, and theta equals y and start equals 1, and we're using the quad polar which is responsible for giving us the round chart. And if you wanted to shift the orientation or the starting position of our donut, we can do that. See that you can see that D is over here. And if I go to the next chart, you would see that D has gone over there. So this is achieved by, you notice that we have called the starting position as one here. And in the other one, we have called the starting position as two. So you can go and modify this to rotate your chart the way you want it. So the second chart is a bit thicker than the previous chart. And that's achieved by using the x min value. So in the um, we are reducing the x min value so that the overall chart becomes bigger and bigger. You would notice more in the in the next chart. So in this case, we have reduced the x min equals one. And if I go to the extreme, just giving zero up there, x min equals zero, this is what we get. So it has become more thick now. Extreme, and then if I reduce my, um, so x min and x max is still zero and four. What I've done is I've changed my x limb from zero to four. So going from there to there. You would notice if I go back, x limb was minus one. And that's what we, we had a bit of a hole in there which gives us the, the donut effect. If I change this to x limb zero comma four, it becomes a normal pie chart. And we have a whole range of charts, visualizations, and other statistical information in our videos. Go and have a look at that. And you would find the code of this video also in the description box. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.